Well, hello everybody, Jason. I'm new at his revolution. In the cave. In the cave. Ah. And, uh, I don't know, what day is it? We usually do the day. It's, uh, it's a crooked camera. That's what it is. We'll give you that. It's a Thursday. It's big Thursday. I just got home from the bowling league with Finley. And uh, here we are. Uh, we will do NUP all night this weekend, indeed. Uh, I am not going to the Niagara Falls Comic Con this weekend. I am just choosing not to. I'm choosing to tighten up finances a little bit um, and just not go, which I'm fine with. Uh, so that won't happen. But NUP all night will. NUP all day, NUP all night, day in the life kind of thing. Uh, we're doing a slight garage modification this weekend on the big show. Uh, we'll be hanging pegboard in the garage. That's going to be taking the place of painting my drywall. And I'm going to pretty much wall my garage with pegboard. I have some unfinished drywall, which looks crappy, but I don't want to paint it. Uh, so I'm going to hang the pegboard and it'll be useful. And then on the other side where there's just exposed studs, I'm going to build some workbenches and then we're going to hang some pegboards also. That'll be fun. Uh, today is just kind of a hey, do you remember? You know, just kind of a hey, do you remember? Uh, it's warm outside. It's June. The kids are gearing up for the end of school. Not my kids, of course. They don't go to school. But, uh, you know, the regular kids are gearing up for their summer vacation. And I talked to a few kids in the last couple of days and... You know, I asked them what plans they had for their summer and they, you know, they didn't have many plans. And I said, look, uh, do something, you know, have a good summer because eventually summers don't matter. And they all just kind of looked at me like I had, you know, three or four heads growing out of my face and they just moved on with their lives. But I've been saying that for a while. I've been saying it to myself. I've been, you know, summer gets to a point where it doesn't matter unless you are a teacher and then you have summers off. But once you, you know, once you turn 18 or once you get out of college or once you get out of high school, summer's just warm. You go to work warm. That's about it. And it got me thinking about my summers. And, you know, to be completely honest with you, they weren't anything special. You know, uh, as I am the collector of memories, the collector of nostalgia, and, you know, the the, reminisce, the great reminiscer, uh, I don't really have summer stories that, well, I have summer stories, but I don't have summer, I never had like a Wonder Years summer, you know, I never had the stereotypical movie coming of age summer, ever. Not really. Not really at all. <laughs> uh, you know, my summers were were kind of... There's eras of my summers. Um, as I've told you before, we never had a summer vacation. You know, our family never packed into the station wagon and drove to North Carolina or, you know, uh, you know uh, Mount Rushmore or, or Yellowstone Park or anything like that. Um, we never went to Disney. We never did any of those things. My, my summers really just consisted of swimming in my grandma, grandparents' pool. So the summers before I lived with my grandparents, I don't have a lot of memories of. I don't. Um, I, I rem okay, so I remember one summer about maybe in between 10th and 11th grade, um, maybe even in between 11th and 12th grade. I was a very young kid, as in maturely young. Um, I played with younger kids. Um, I didn't have a ton of friends in my own grade. And I lived in an apartment complex, or my mom lived in an apartment complex with younger, with, with um, a, a kid that was a grade below me, and so we would be friends. And, and so I was friends with him. He was younger. And I was friends with his friends who were younger. 
And I remember like the summer of whenever the year that the Blue Jays won the World Series when Joe Carter hit the walk-off home run against Mitch Williams. Remember that? And the Phillies. Uh, I, uh, every day during the summer, I would go over in the same apartment complex, I would go over my friend John's house and John's parents worked and he had the whole place to himself. And we would play NHL hockey on Sega Genesis, whether it was 94. Well, wait a minute. No, it had to be, it had to be like 93. When did the NHL game start? We played the game that you could fight in. I'm trying to think of the years, because I definitely had not graduated high school yet. I don't think, or had I? Wow. No, I couldn't have. But uh, anyway, I, I it might have been the summer after 12th grade. No, I don't know. But we played the NHL game that you could fight in. And every day I'd go over to his house, 11, 12 in the afternoon, and just play. We had a we had a league, just the two of us. We'd pick a team. The players didn't have names, they had numbers. And we would write all the numbers down. And that was our team. And whoever fought, we would keep the one, one loss records for the fighting. So we didn't play hockey. We would just run into each other to cause fights. And again, we kept win-loss records for our guys. And that was an, that was a blast. That was a, that was an entire summer of joy. The whole time we had MTV going on in the background. And so, you know, the summer of 93 or the summer of 94, whatever cool music was happening was playing in the background. Um, that's like high school summer though. Uh, kid summer, not a lot, not a lot of memories from kid summer, honestly, other than swimming at my grandparents. And, you know, they had an in-ground pool and, um, we would, we would pile into my mom's hot car that never had air conditioning. And we'd drive the short distance to my grandparents' house. My grandpa was working. My grandma didn't work at the time. And, uh, we would just invade her house and invade her pool. And uh, they had a diving board and a slide. And I remember you had to, you had to walk the garden hose up the slide ladder, loop it around the, like the slide handles, and then kind of, and then let it sit there and run the water on the slide or else you would rip every layer of skin off your body as you slid down this hot fiberglass slide and you you knew you were dead you knew you were dead because you heard that screeching sound and you just knew that you you're going to need a skin graft because you've lost layers of skin so you had to have the hose going and i think about it now and it's such an innocent thing but there were so many times when my grandmother would refuse to let us do it and she'd just be like, no, no, not today. And we're like, not today. It's summer. We're in the pool. The hose is right there. We just have to, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to do the hose. And she wouldn't do the hose. We'd do the hose. But she didn't want to do the hose. So we would go sometimes without the slide. No, no, I, no, we're not doing the slide today. No. What? The diving board, of course, was fantastic, but we didn't quite realize how dangerous it was. I mean, this was not a 10-foot Olympic pool, you know, 10-foot deep Olympic pool. This was six and a half feet, I don't know. And we're diving. It wasn't a springboard, but we're diving and we're getting some height and we're going straight down. I was a pretty decent diver, a non-competitive decent diver, don't get me wrong, but I could dive and I would do some nice straight dives and I would immediately have to brace myself because I would I would hit the bottom of the pool <laughs> and you know nobody was concerned that we were going to die um, by breaking our necks in the pool uh, and and you know that usually result in us sticking around my grandmother's for dinner um, it usually would result in me you know at least making like some lunch uh, she would always be mad if we went in the house wet. You know, you had to stay outside. 
you had to dry off before you went in the house. Uh, they kind of had an outdoor living space in their garage. So a lot of times we were only allowed in the garage because you know we were gonna get wet. And then I remember every single day of those grandmother swimming pool summers, we suffered in pain with sunburn because apparently in 1987, sunblock wasn't either wasn't invented or there was a mass shortage or it was thousands of dollars um, because we never had any. We never had any sunblock. Um, so we would always be sunburned. And I grew to have a sunburn phobia that I still have today. I have some nightmarish sunburn stories to the point where my kids, I sunblock the nuts out of these kids in November. I don't want them getting sunburn. When I see sunburn, I get panicky. I get anxious. I hate it. It's a phobia. I hate sunburn. I hate it. I hate the feeling of sunburn and I hate seeing other people with sunburn. It literally makes me cringe to see sunburn. I hate it. And then there's normal people who have sunburn and they like put a shirt on and they go to work. And I'm like, what, what planet are you from? If I get sunburned, which I haven't in decades, by the way, if I get sunburned, I'm taking off of school. I'm taking off of work. I can't go anywhere. Put a shirt on. Are you out of your mind? Insanity. Insanity. So unfortunately, other than that, there's not a lot of summer memories. I, you know, a couple of sleepovers at old Howie's house, a couple of fun nights in his pool, a uh, couple of fun, you know, one-on-one -on -one baseball, however you can figure that out. Uh, but other than that, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't have massive summers. I didn't, I didn't have memorable summers. A couple of trips to the amusement park, but that's about it. You know, that, that's, that's it. Uh, and my kids, uh, they have extremely active social lives. A little bit too active because, it, you know, it, it puts a lot of strain on me um, to make, you know, to get them around places. But um, my kids have their winter vacation. They don't, they don't, we take off in December. They don't do school the whole month of December because we go to Universal Studios and they have Christmas. So, you know, they have their summer break and then they have the entire month of December off. And so I got a feeling like their December's are going to be their summer memories because we go to Florida. Um, but right now, I think the memories, at least for Liam, are going to be, you know, pretty much no bedtime during the summer because he doesn't have a bedtime during the summer. And he's always up with me and we watch, you know, Chucky and we watch The Descent. And last night we watched Megan, which was actually great. I loved Megan. Um, so much so that we looked up whether or not Megan 2 is coming out. And it is next May. But I, I, I hope that those are, you know, oh, you know, I remember that summer I stayed up with my dad and we watched horror movies. I, you know, I hope that that gets in his head. But um, their summers are spent, you know, with their friends, you know, playing baseball, uh, swimming, the sleepovers. We don't reject the sleepovers. When they want a sleepover, they have a sleepover because they need it, you know, and it's it's so good to, I want these memories planted in their head. So tell me about your summers. Did you have a good time or were they just like, eh? I remember, honestly, the best parts of my summer were staying up late and sleeping in. That's all, That's it. I would stay up in my bed, watch my little 13-inch TV until 1 in the morning, and then sleep till noon. And that was it. That was my summer. Put yours down below. We'll see you next time. Good night now.